Hi guys, Frost Fangs here back with uh, Paladins video We're playing some Makoa today with his reworked and buffed ultimate. I'm sure you've sort of noticed it already if you've gone against a Makoa, specifically with a Leviathan, which is also massively buffed because of this, because it was also, uh, you know, buffing out your ultimate even more. Wanted to jump into the dog practice so to show you it, just in case you haven't gone against it, because it is pretty terrifying when you see it in third person when you're playing a Kiging and you're going up against it. But not only is he 50% bigger, which is the main thing when you're using your ultimate, uh, from the PTS, you also now hit harder from 525, which is normal, to 600 in the ultimate. You also now have 50% damage reduction on headshots, which is massive, because it was too easy to headshot him before. After the size increase, I imagine it would have been way too, you know, crazy. They've also now given you 1500 extra health, so instead of the 4k buff, it's 5.5k. So with the ultimate here, just to show you it, you go up to 10k, 500, you hit for 600. It does seem to change your POV a tiny bit. You're significantly taller, but it's also a little bit strange. But as you can see, the axe is just massive, because uh, if you look in third person, Makoa is ridiculous large and it's kind of hard to show you because I've got the dance emote on but maybe that makes it even more obvious so I pop the ultimate here and uh, versus a Fernando he's like a bigger than a Yagrath bigger than a Rom probably the biggest character in the game with this all of that on top of what you get from the talent which is reset on both your abilities and also 20% movement speed the charge rate is going to make a massive difference because I think his ultimate is a uh, you know upper tier or two for sure after these changes maybe if I use this spin it'll show it a little bit better but uh yeah he is huge. So yeah, at least to me, this feels like the way it should have always been. It's significantly scarier, significantly stronger. The headshot damage reduction is really a key part to it. The extra damage is kind of nice. The extra health is kind of nice. Being at 10k feels like the perfect spot. And if you go for, you know, even more buffs, it's even more crazy. But one hell of an ultimate. I think it's also nice that it buffs out Leviathan, which I think needs a little bit of help compared to the other two. It's way more of a viable and recommendable option. All right, so for game one, Leviathan and then the speed save, which I think will really play into it. We're going to go for morale boost and nimble to start. We don't have a heal here, which might be kind of rough, but Street Justice, the nerfed version, changed version of it, Yomi, Cardio, Fortress Breaker, Cardio again, Battering Ram, Yomi, whatever the Genos, and the Buck Grabs, F9, because the servers are cooked, as you can sort of see. Lingering around here in the queue, waiting for the team to come and help, but I think I'm sort of on my own. There to the, to the Zin. So there is a bit of a downside to the ultimate, although we popped it there, but technically we're going to be significantly easier to hit compared to before. There's the hook land, nice, but okay, we can't really finish him off here, especially not without the team. Yeah, I don't really know how we could possibly win this with no support. He's going for the ultimate, but he missed. I'm not going to any of my kit, I'm just dead. We went for full morale boost. If we had the ultimate there, we would have been able to shred them, but yeah, we can't really gen it any faster than just trying to do normal Makoa stuff. There's no way to do anything else. I think I'm just going to cut motors want to use it as a warm-up for Makoa because there's nothing I can really add on top of uh, yeah, this match. It's just kind of cooked. It's a game where we have no support on a TDM like this. I guess we can push in here and go for like an ultimate play. Shot hook, uh, shot and then the ultimate. There we go. Ko is gone, not Ko and Ko. We are so speedy with this. Going for the talent is kind of crazy. We're also getting kind of weirdly stuck on things, which is uh, not what you want to see. Can I finish her off? Nope, she's still up just because they've got healing and we have... And nobody having a supply quarterize. This game is someone else. We actually got a bit of a combo though on the back. Nearly. Who was sort of AFK there. I don't know what the hell just happened. I'm dead, by the way. Let me get rid of the victor at least. Shot hook. Like, I can do my thing on Makoa. Try and gen the ultimate. But yeah, just without a team. Even if I have the ult of the entire game, I don't think we'd be able to win this. There's in is going kind of crazy. I'm just trying to maybe push up here on this victor. Uh, yeah, should be gone. Shot hook. Didn't really need to do that. I feel like Pluck would have actually been a bit of talent here, considering we're not re ulting that much. I think unless you're in a game where you're actually alive a lot of the time and dealing damage, you're not going to get that much value from the ult. See if we can. Just slash away at him here. Yeah, we're tanking an insane amount of damage. What is melting me that fast? Definitely have got stuck a couple times on like the indoor bit there for some reason, but I don't know what melted me there so quickly. We don't have damage reduction. Um, really, you know, like a Yagarath would or something. Uh, hello, Victor. Shot hook. Pull him down. Shot spin. That combo nearly worked. Obviously, the ultimate is kind of slow to gen because it is such a strong ability, but I'm kind of noticing a lot in this one that we don't really have the ultimate up that much. I popped it, what, twice? Maybe three times in this game, and we're going for a set that is like a maxing it. We've got Marabu's three and the talent for it, and didn't really feel like I had it that much considering how much we were like trying to use the ultimate and stuff. So in a TDM, wouldn't really recommend it, even if you're in a scenario where it makes sense and would kind of work. I think the other talents are probably a better choice for a game like that. Riku, jump to game two. There are the stats. I don't know what I could possibly say about it. We had highest damage on our side somehow. Shouts out to our Moji and our Jonas, by the way. She's Jaguar Fools. We've got a Cassie and a Vatu there too. A much better match for what I'm trying to show you, but it doesn't really make sense to actually go for uh, the sub with the speed. I think this one makes way more sense. We've got a healer. 30% extra below 50% is huge. Uh, Rejuvenate obviously isn't going to help. I don't even know why you can actually grab that on Makoa, I guess for the shield heal, but to sort of finish what I was trying to say there is that in that last match we were absorbing so much damage in that ultimate we were getting kind of bursted, but that's because we didn't have any damage reduction whatsoever. You want arcane or armor plating both if you can. Ideally you'd get Marabu's too, but there isn't really space for it. And I think the you know extra ult gen isn't really worth it over the other stuff most of the time. In a match like this where we're hitting into tanks, maybe it would actually be a better idea, but hard to say. I've also got a skin now that should hopefully make it a little bit easier for me to play because I'm not used to any other ones other than this for some reason. But double tank early game here is going to be really really rough. I'm gonna try and shield or pull the ram in a little bit here. 
shot spin he's going to F out but being able to see the emoji marks is kind of nice and I remember you guys clarifying in a different video when I actually asked about it that it's because that means I'm going to get the group heal that's why you can see the marks is to show you when you're actually going to get the burst heal from emoji detonating on like the left quick combo there goes the damn but Richard managed to turn that around it was kind of close to being in their favor massively although Ram just body blocked him a little bit that is really a thing you can do for sure with the ultimate we're getting like 3% per shot which I think is maybe worth going for morale boost for then don't really know what I'm doing here but yeah double tank maybe it's a scenario where you go for morale boost but I also need to sort of be able to duel them I do feel like morale boost is just kind of hard to recommend on Makoa just because of how it works I could see scenarios where it makes sense and where you'd want to grab it that was just horrendous I've got the ultimate here I guess we pop it don't really know if I need to but yeah sure why not we'll just slash through him uh, there goes Vora, hello Fernando, or oh, Dan, but we should probably clear him first, right? Yeah, he's going for his ult, we should slash away anyway, we're just like full health the entire time, that was not a right scenario for the ultimate, but Moji's heals are just insane early game, we pop the shield so we can pull back a little bit, I want to try and zone them as best as possible, that Vora was really, really low, Jones is pushing the point, Sati's going for the ult, uh, sure, we'll go for the hook, that landed, that's disgusting, I tried to pull her too much there, but really shouldn't be playing in a way where Moji can't get heals to us, that's a damn ult, um, sure, shot spin, uh, shot hook that didn't really work hello Vatu I'm dead yet yeah, just as a team we got wiped there for sure I was alive for way longer than I should have been I'm still up anyway we were taking damage mostly from in hands there so we definitely want more arm pain I don't know if I need arcane here my hooks have been horrendous so far in this one there's the Q we're tanking such absurd amounts of damage we've got a good set of healers so it's sort of all right Fernando Shield actually isn't that bad in this one we don't have Wrecker but we're kind of clearing it. I'm gonna go for the ultimate I think again we've done that really really fast maybe Rabus was the play let's get rid of the uh yeah, Mar but we are kind of scary. Hello, Sati. Pull her here so she can't F back easily. That sort of way. They really are not clearing us, even though we're super easy to hit. The ultimate is kind of massive. The headshot damage reduction is obviously going to be huge. He's going for the ultimate. I need to shield it there just out of, like, brain thinking that it was the right thing to do. Yeah, now we Q try and block some damage. Heal up a little bit. General's heals coming through kind of clutch. Fernando running in on no health and ulting. I'm dead there. Vor is on me. Vor is actually causing me the most trouble so far. We're taking most of our damage from in hands. I don't know if I want to grab Arcane here, even, to be honest. I don't think I need Nimble, though, either. So maybe I avoid getting Nimble, which I typically want to always grab and go for damage reduction instead emoji there asking why makoa giant giga Koa, uh, why was it changed yeah i can see some people seeing it as maybe a bad thing but overall it's definitely a buff because you get the headshot damage reduction and um overall you're able to body block much more you're much more scary and sort of putting pressure on people and overall it's what you're trying to do and it does it better so i think it's a good change also here running in getting that one little tap or q here that's fine not really blocking anything they're all on right side i think i need to pull back here because i'm just getting uh, way too heavily hit we'll pull the arm in for is on nothing for now it's kind of on his own here that hook didn't do anything there's a q so these guys are sort of safe that's a damber we blocked a bunch of damage i think they cleared it i didn't even need to deploy it there uh, vatu here versus the fernando he's going for the we actually saved it what a play from the vatu there hello satin what she's doing shot spin combo tried to pull the rum off there but for some reason that didn't actually work we've got the ultimate i feel like i'm getting it really really quickly and this one is what i was trying to say we'll go ahead and pop it a little bit early but i think that's fine we'll hook the rum so he doesn't just keep hitting us for free i'm just gonna try and dance around a little bit and block some i feel so slow jesus that's bad felt insanely slow there in the ultimate we absorbed a ton but yeah definitely need to get arcane going as well because we are taking damage quite a bit from like the sati coin or the fernando fireball or like the vora q I need arm planning too, but can we spin in here in time? Oh my god, that didn't work. I feel like I was on that. That must be like nearly, nearly like right on it. There's a hook. Get rid of the Vora maybe. Don't really know what I could do to play this bed is what I'm trying to say. The Fnado Shield has just been so annoying. The damage down there. Could definitely do with everything, but again, we don't really have the space for it. I'm dead here, by the way. Um, yeah, just everybody dealing damage everywhere at the same time. Jones going for the ultimate Fnado to counter. One, three. They're playing better as a team, for sure. We're not doing a bad job as a team. They're just going kind of crazy. In we go. Hopefully this isn't the last round, but I feel like I'm absorbing a ton of damage here on Makoa, even when I'm not using the ultimate. They just have so many free ways to hit me. Sati's kind of annoying. Can we get the hook? That's just a little bit out of range. Don't know what else I can do other than dip in and try and get uncauterized, but uh, yeah, back to there with the ultimate. He's playing really well. I just think we don't have damage to deal with the Ram, who's kind of free a lot of the time. Fernando is also surprisingly not being dealt with that much, but we do have some cauterized or Wrecker, I mean. He's gone. Didn't really want to push in, so I want to be kind of safe. We've got recovery mechanic. Uh, Ram, hook missed. Jones grip got me covered, though. I completely butchered that play. The Vora, I feel like he's just ticking me for tons when she hits me with that Q. Best way I can explain it is I don't really know what I'm doing sometimes, and it kind of works anyway. Yeah, that's the uh, Satyol. But yeah, as a Makoa, I think I would be massively more effective than I actually am here, just because I'm not really used to it. I say as I make an insane combo there on the Sati. Okay, yeah, that's what I need to do, basically, is just kind of catch people off guard, because trying to play as a normal tank versus their Ram, Fernando, it's not going to work. Try and block like this a little bit so they can play a little bit more aggressively. He's going for That's fine. We'll pull him in. Nope, that actually went on cooldown somehow even though i didn't really get the hook out there so that would have actually even pulled him if i didn't get stunned um okay moji ult trying to make this push shot hook on the fernando not really doing anything there we're gonna have to retreat a little bit he's going for the ultimate cassie's up on her own got rid of the fernando there somehow vati managed to i'm gonna queue try and save just a little bit so we can pull back maybe hello damba or the sati that works too spin couldn't do it because i'm crippled vati ult channel sort combo that is disgustingly good yeah all three of them were out jesus christ that was crazy more armor plating yeah let's run back in is that going to be enough to save it i'm not sure i kind of wanted to get max unbound but we need the damage reduction i think even if i'm stunned i'm soaking up damage that's probably better than you know just trying to be a little bit more active could be wrong with that though. We've got the ultimate here. Sati going for the ult. That will go in for the hook.
and push in, try and zone them off a little bit. Rahm's on his own, that's fine. If I can hold these two off, they should have it, right? Thor was also there, I guess, but I feel like we should have had that, right? I'm not really sure. Shot hook on the Genos? Nope, not a Genos, it's a Rahm, and I also missed because I got knocked by something. Uh, should be able to finish him off now, though, because his run's down. Never mind. That's a Rahm going for the ultimate, that's fine. I feel like I'm constantly trying to hit people in this one, it's just not enough. That's an ultimate from the Fernando. Let's retreat a little bit. Mave, or not Mave, Moji, hit me with some big heals. Thank you very much. Don't think my commentary on this one's made any sense either. There's a shot hook, pull him in. Oh, I should have done that into the Genos ult, that was my bad. Uh, yeah, Moji going ahead and picking it up. Uh, Fernando ult, not Fernando, Sati and Damba. Q, is that going to be enough to save? We're going to have to roll in here to try and get the hold. Shot hook on the, yeah, Sati. She is not gone because I missed. Never mind. Saved? What is this game? I don't know. Team just huge there. Moji heals are insane sometimes. I can't believe we got that. Are we going to get this? I feel like we should have it. Yeah, there we go. They just dropped off enough. Nice. 3-3. Three, three. I'm surprised that worked. We've actually managed to recover this game. It was going kind of downhill for a while, but I don't know if I really want to get more unbound or... Arcane. I feel like I'm getting CC'd a lot. We have it in the ultimate, so it feels kind of like the wrong thing to go for. Just because when the fights are going kind of crazy, I pop the ultimate and we're CC immune anyway. I don't know. We're going to jump on it here, try and do what we can. Sati, as long as I can just dodge her and, and maybe get a cheeky kill, we should be fine. Vatu ulted for some reason. Hello, Vora. That missed. I feel like the hook even went out there properly. Sati ult, sure. I'm going to just try and play kind of safe. I do want to get some heals here because we're looking kind of low. There we go. Massive. Look on the ROM. Sure. I'm going to go for the ultimate in a second. Kind of early, but I didn't really want to play it too risky. The team is not paying that much attention. Vora's ulting. We're fine, I think. I uh, could still move and deal damage, but yeah, we got ulted by the Vora. This is so scuffed. I'm surprised he was actually able to ult me because I'm pretty sure you're not meant to be able to do it when the person sees CCM unit or yeah, that would just bugs out and that's how it's meant to work. I don't even know. It was kind of a scuffed fight. We managed to sort of hold it. I was the only one that died there, but we did ult and we lost all of our health. We still got cleared. We'll stop the ROM from running. Let's just pull him back here. That's kind of the play. Uh, he's really, really low here. Can we finish him off? Fernando ultimate. Don't know what we're doing, but we're full health. Uh, got some heals from the Moji. Hello, Vora. Shot hook. That missed. Yeah, that was she right clicked early and that counted. I don't know. Try and finish off this Fernando, who's really, really low. That shot did not land or the hook either. I'm dead, just trying to hold it. Jones going for the ultimate. is a little bit off, but he did hit the Sati. Two tanks are up and the Damba. I don't know if we're going to push back on. I think that means they win it. There we go. There's a defeat. I think they did play better as a team overall. We did have some good team fights there, but we were playing way more jank. And I think Asmokoa there, I was not like full effectiveness whatsoever. And versus a Raham Fernando and a comp like that. It's just kind of tough, but we did our job there for sure, though I just think I could have played better, but it was still a really, really good game for Mako. 108k, I'm super happy with. Our generals put in work, so did the Moji, so did the Kasi, so did the Vatu. I have no complaints about the team, really. Vatu could have maybe played a little bit better, but overall these guys all did just a great job. Shouts out there too. There's that Fernando, anybody else that maybe I missed, but a great game there, even though we lost it, and maybe it could do with some tweaks. I'm not really sure just yet, I need to play it some more, but from that match, it felt pretty good, but it didn't feel perfect. It's still really quite fun to play though. Therefore, super annoying. Sadi put in work too. Fernando and the Rom and the Damba. You can see that they were definitely the better, more cohesive team, but wasn't that much in it. We did nearly have it. And yeah, that is Rama Leave. It's definitely one of those things that you notice more on the enemy team than when you're actually playing it yourself. I did notice the impact there for sure, and the ultimate was definitely better, but going against it, it's definitely a different thing entirely. That's why I tried to show it off in the intro and the target practice, but yeah, it's more of a fun update as well than just a balanced one. Thank you so much for watching, though. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me do next alongside your thoughts on these Makoa changes. I'd love to hear them. I'll see you guys all, yeah, very, very soon. I appreciate it. So, the way to the end, and as always, stay frosty.